couple weeks ago I uploaded a video called How to Make Your Boring Footage Look Epic. A lot of you really enjoyed this type of content, but today I received an interesting comment. It said, these are good tips, but as a filmmaker, I want to get it right in camera first. Now this is something I 100% agree with, and it got me thinking. A nicely captured video with thought-provoking and aesthetically pleasing shots will always exceed a haphazardly shot video packed with a bunch of preset effects and transitions. Now that all being said, today I wanna give you one extremely simple tip that will help you get more creative when you're actually going out to shoot your footage. Now obviously that wasn't the best or most exciting sequence that I've ever made, but I shot it in about 10 minutes and it looks pretty clean. Notice how there weren't many effects or transitions applied throughout the entire video like in my last one, so what is it about this extremely basic and simple video that makes it captivating? And the answer is foreground. From a story perspective, bringing foreground into your shots can add both context and emotion to a scene. For example, here is the same shot from five different angles, yet each one paints a different picture. In this shot, the subject is the foreground and there isn't a whole lot going on, but if we switch up the angle and add some nature into the foreground, this starts to give the viewer a bit more context as to the environment in which the video is taking place. In this shot here, not only are we given a totally new perspective of the same scene, but the emotion attached to the shot is also different. From behind the window, you the viewer might actually feel differently about the subject or what is happening in the scene compared to the shot where we were essentially standing beside our subject. If we back up just a bit, you will notice that we can now see more of that space, and of course if we continue backing up, we can introduce even more context to the shot. Now from the visual side of things, using foreground can drastically enhance your camera movement. And this is a technique I use all the time in real estate videos. Notice how when getting a slider shot, I always have something in the foreground, whether it be furniture or a wall, and without foreground you would hardly notice that the camera is moving at all. You can also use foreground to reveal things in your scene, making for a much more dynamic looking shot. That being said, your foreground doesn't always have to necessarily be right in front of the camera's lens. In this shot here, even though the building isn't technically in the foreground, I'm still using it to reveal the sun behind it. Now using foreground is just one of many ways you can enhance your videos, but if there's anything I want you to take away from this tutorial, it's to just think ahead and plan out your shots a little bit more. Let's say you're downtown and you wanna capture the busy urban environment around you. Instead of just standing on the sidewalk with your camera like this and pointing it in whatever direction, look around and see what could you add to the foreground of your shot. Maybe there's a fire hydrant or a brick wall or a rusty bike lock that you could just throw in the foreground and add a lot more feeling and emotion to the context of the overall scene. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful evening.